Good morning, good morning, good morning. Dan Yell here, Mama Fit for Life. Trying to reconnect. There we go. It's Thursday. Um, I think it's about to rain here. I'm getting ready for some rain. It's very still. The water is super still. You see, nothing's really moving too much. There goes a duck flying. It's very chill right now and quiet. The bugs aren't too bad. Good morning, Kaisha. How are you? So, it is Thursday. I just finished my yoga. Um, I only drank some of my pre-workout because um, I forgot it was yoga day and I don't like doing a pre-workout before yoga. But I am gonna do um, my 25 minute workout after. So I just have to pump and feed the baby and then I'm gonna squeeze that workout in. So I just wanted to chat. There was something on my mind and I always like to share if I can and all my littles are sleeping, which is always exciting. So because of that, I figured I would hop on. And what's really, really cool right now is a tough time for a lot of people. However, a ton of people have embraced and come to kind of learn and know more about um, backup plants, about from home businesses and it's been really exciting to see a lot of friends who are posting and messaging and some people are annoyed by that kind of stuff but I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, if you follow me you know that um, we have had amazing things happen because trying to reconnect there we go we've had amazing things happen because of um, working from home and everything like that good morning Aaron good morning Sharon you know in 2016 when Adam's contract was up with active duty we had the opportunity for him to come home and um, I'm not sure if he would have said yes to it had I not been able to replace my income with the RN job and his income with the military combined, which was absolutely amazing. So the biggest thing that I want to talk about is the fake it till you make it. A lot of times people will say that, and I think there's different perceptions of it and how you want to go about doing that. I don't agree with fake it till you make it in the sense of saying you're earning money that you're not earning or that you're having success that you're not having. However, you know, a big mindset shift and a big way to look at things are, if you said yes to an opportunity, you made it. That's not faking it. You said yes, you're past a milestone. You've turned a corner and made a move in the direction that your life needs to go in, right? If you have invited one person to that opportunity, you've made it. You spoke up, you shared, that is not easy to do. And a lot of people think, um, that they're not made for it or they can't do it. But the reality is when you really are passionate about something and you really like something, you love it in your life, it's a lot easier to talk about it with other people. Now for myself, uh, I've always been into health and fitness. I've always been into sports. It's always been my thing. It's It comes more naturally for sure. You know what I mean? But that's why I'm more comfortable talking about certain things. But that's also why my team then benefits from being connected with me because I'm a resource as well as other people on my team. But what they have that I might not have is uh, ease of creativity and marketing and different things like that. So what you wanna do is really dig deep into what you are good at, what you can bring to the table for your family, for your team, for your business, everything like that, and think positive moving forward. For a lot of people, it's like, okay, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Nope, it's definitely not. Uh, working from home is not easy. You have to be disciplined, right? However, it can be very simple. And I've never had to, I don't wanna say I haven't had to work a 40 hour week, but I honestly don't think I've ever had to put 40 hours in. I put a lot of my time in, right? And a lot of my energy, but because it was focused in the right direction, it flowed a lot, lot smoother. And I remember at a point when I was growing my business and at my most busy as aspect, right? Um, my most busy schedule, I always felt like I had more time. And now when I do a lot less, I feel like I have no time and it's so funny and people are sitting there saying, well, you have three kids, so that's why, which is true. <laughs> However, there are things that I do that I could easily not do watching certain shows on Netflix or certain downtime things, carving out time for my workout seemed impossible until I started doing it. 7 a.m. was my time. That's the time that I showed up. That's the time that I invited people to. You know what I mean? 
So I'm not faking it. I have my morning pre-workout in order to make it happen. Without that, I would not be able to show up to my workout at the same intensity, at the same level, with the same outcome and benefit, right? So by waking up, I've made it. By pushing play, I've made it. By inviting people to work out with me, I've made it, right? So if you're in the beginning stage of doing something new, of creating your own business from home, of joining an MLM, of changing around and revamping your business, be open and honest about it. And every little win you share. For some people, it's putting five extra dollars of gas in your gas tank. For some people, it's um, switching over to organic foods, right? Budgeting out for that and being able to do those things. Um, for others, it might be that you have a vacation, you bought a new car, like it's always different levels. You signed your kid up for baseball or camp or things that you couldn't do before you join this opportunity. Things that weren't accessible to you and your family before. So when you hear fake it till you make it, don't underestimate those words. Change the perception of them and realize that you've made it with every step you take to move forward. And if you see people posting, this is a time when a lot of people, it depends on your mindset, are gonna see people and be like, oh, everyone's getting into MLMs. Everyone's doing these side businesses. You have to realize why. A lot of people's worlds are shifting. For many of us, we had, I had the mindset a long time ago about having a backup plan. I've had the mindset, so even though I have beach body, right? That's my primary. So now I have to, what's my second backup plan, right? And I'm working on that and I'm excited to bring that in the next six months. I really, really am. Um, but there's always gotta be a backup plan. You've gotta have something that in reality, you can bring in money financially if you can't show up to work. And for most people, that was not visible. You were not able to recognize, when would I ever be out of work? I mean, okay, if I got into an accident or something, but you know, it's hard to see that. And here we are, no car accidents, no injuries, no illnesses. Well, technically an illness that knocked everything out, but that we haven't technically had ourselves has sent everyone home. Is your business something that you could work from home? It's a huge light bulb. It doesn't mean that you necessarily have to leave the industry that you're working in. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to leave your job, but the reality is find something that you can do if you're on bed rest, that your family can do if something happens to you. What I have said to our financial planner before when we were talking about things, um, how we want to invest money, different things like that, was the realization of, listen, in an everyday corporate job, if something happened to me and I died today, that income would be done. I would not, maybe maybe you get paid out your sick pay and vacation pay if you have it, I don't know. I'm sure that you get paid that out. However, with the job I have now as a health coach, that income will remain. And as long as someone can take over that business for our family, which I mean, Adam would be able to, my mom does the business, like there's plenty of things that I can, and I've thought about it, like, uh, who I would assign to take over my business that would functionally be able to run it and take a percentage of it. You know what I mean? Different things like that. Those are business mindsets. And those are things that if something happened to me, that would still financially fund my family and be stable for my family, which is an amazing opportunity. So as you're looking to do something new, I've had a lot of people reaching out to me, um, especially people in the teaching world, in the law enforcement world, different things like that, that are really in positions of business that are changing significantly um, and what they can do and how things work for me and where I started. And things started slow. They're not super quick. It depends on what you can put into it and that makes the difference. But it's patience, it's helping others. Um, I was a nurse, right? So I worked in the hospital and let me tell you, I put a lot of time and energy into people that I only saw for a day or two or three maybe, um, never saw again. And then also had to comply with doctors and different uh, hospital rules and, and other things like that, which is a big reason why I left that world because it wasn't something that met my moral and ethical compass anymore. 
right. It wasn't something that made me feel like I was serving people. I needed to help people in a different way. And that's where health coaching came in for me. You do not need to know everything. And that gets people on a mindset as well. Like, oh, you don't know everything. It's kind of like you're faking it, right? And you, you think you know, but the resources are there. You don't have to know everything. But being a support person in any situation, if you guys know, I'm a doula. I have not done it in a while because I have three kids. <laughs> Maybe down the road one day I'll do it. Again, backup plan. But it's a support person. Now, obviously, because of my experience, I'm a support person that can give a little bit more, right? Yes, you're right, Susan. I am a nurse. You are correct. You are correct. I no longer work in the hospital field, but everything else is still nurse. Yes, yes, yes. I have that degree. My parents will tell you and remind you and me. Um, but what you have to realize is, um, I lost my mindset there, my, my direction. Um, what you have to realize is that you grow and learn and educate and you move yourself forward to become that expert in the field. I have women who started with me, sorry, I don't wanna make you dizzy. I have women who started with me three years ago, five years ago, I've been in this 10 years. I still have my first two team members, my mom and my friend Maria, still, still have not left they are still with me and it's been amazing to see both of them, how different their journeys are, the direction that they've um, taken with their business, how much it has helped them. Maria, because of joining, became a personal trainer, opened up her own gym in her hometown. All of these amazing things came from that. My mom really advanced her mindset from the normal uh, crash diet or, you know, fat-free, sugar-free, like snacks and things like that. And it took a while, but it really changed to what is healthy eating? What foods do you eat? You know, Shakeology is something that we drink every day. And I was just telling a friend, hi. Hi. Did you hear the baby? Was he awake? Okay, he was asleep when, he was just a little awake when I came out. Um, what happened when my mom first started drinking shakes, I was like, oh, how do you like your shake? Oh, it's the mushroom, just leave it, just leave it. I, something must have ate it, it's fine. Um, and she's like, oh, they're okay. And I'm like, oh, well, what are you making it with? And she's like, just water. I was like, what, put some fruit in there, blend it up, make it a shake, like get creative. And it was the calories. She's like, oh, then it'll be more calories. And it helps me because having conversations with my clients, having conversations with my friends, I have a very different mindset, which oftentimes I actually enjoy where I am right now. I enjoy that I'm a little bit heavier. I enjoy that it's a struggle because I have been able to feel what my clients have felt. I have a different mindset about food. I have I don't do the artificial sugars. I don't believe in diet sodas and different things like that. Like those just don't exist I in our life. I drink soda. You did drink soda yesterday. We had a mom and daughter day, well, evening for dinner and Elvie asked for spray and you did good. You weren't crazy, so that's good. She doesn't, I don't usually let her drink it, but it was special. That's not special. Um, so it's changing your mindset and it's finding people to surround yourself that want to move you in a healthy direction and that you want to move in a positive direction with. So look at the world today, right? Look at everything that's going on. Where are you? Where is your mindset, right? Fake it till you make it. What are you saying yes to that is making you make it today? I think so, right? Just take a deep, because we're all different. I can share my story, I can share my journeys, I can share my experiences. There are things in my life that I don't share. They're toxic and negative, and it brings me down. It doesn't mean I'm faking it. I share them when I'm ready, and I share them in a way that helps other people progress and move forward, that helps other people realize they're not alone in their experiences and the things that happen to them. But I also have things in my life that affect other people that are part of someone else's story 
that I don't feel completely comfortable sharing because it's not 100% my story. It's part of my journey and I can share pieces of it. So what I want you to do today is really reflect the direction that your life is going. Really reflect the message that you are saying to yourself. Are you able to put things in a positive mindset? That is not faking it. That is not faking it. That is changing your perception. I have turned off the news, okay? It was not working for me um, because there was a lot of questions, a lot of doubt. What's real? What's not real? Like, I don't get it anymore. You know what I mean? And it was overwhelming and it was eating at me and it was affecting our inside of our home. I would like Adam to turn things off too. I'm working on it. But you know what? I can only control me right? I can only control me. You can only control you. You have that power in your hands. My phone's about to die, so I'm going to hop off here and I got to go feed the baby. But thank you guys for being on. Let's see who's all on here. We've got, I said hello to Sharon. Good morning. Good morning, Al, Kayla, Alisa, uh, Kristen, Lauren, Susan. Hello, hello, Michelle, Sharon, Kristen and Debbie. Hey girl. Um, Debbie is a, an amazing, amazing woman who has her own business. Um, she shares that. She has an amazing story. Uh, she shares her belief in herself. She's active duty military. Um, her husband is home with the kids, which is amazing. I wish I could convince my husband to do that. <laughs> um, but follow people who will inspire you to move in the direction that you want to go in. If you have a closed door and a closed mindset, maybe things are not for you, but watch those people, support those people. It doesn't mean you need to buy things, but share and listen. If they, it's okay, I'll, I think something must be eating something up there. It's fine, it's, what is it, a flower? It looks like, yeah. Um, share those people's. What I love is when someone sends me someone's info or connects me with someone who's looking for a healthy lifestyle, who's a new mom, who's looking to have support in that world, right? It doesn't mean support comes in so many different ways. So as you see all these posts, as you see all these people starting their own businesses, oh wow, there's definitely something eating. Okay, Al, I'm almost done with this. Um, make sure you're supporting and having an open mind. Make the world around you positive because it can be. You can move in that direction, and um, that's all I have today. So fake it till you make it, you've made it if you've said yes. You've made it if you've opened a new door. You've made it if you're supporting others. You've made it if you have changed your mindset and your perception into a positive spin on life. So Danielle here, Mama Bye. Fit for Life. Live life without limits. You Bye. know it. Bye.